This is Ryan Elliott for Boxing Social in association with Betfred. I'm here with the victorious Florian Marku. Florian, first and foremost, congratulations. Are you happy with your performance? I'm happy, but I have still a lot to show, you know. Chris Jenkins came out of the blocks flying. You and I spoke on Thursday about Grant Smith teaching you to be calm, to keep your composure. When he came out and had those first two very quick rounds, was that exactly what he was reiterating to you? No need to panic. Yes, because I'm a fighter that every punch I throw it with a bad intention. Like this, I have learned all my life. You know, I'm like this. I'm like a person. And Grant have uh, shown me to not rush. You know, taking my time is not the fight is not finishing in two three rounds. You know, it's not two three fight two three rounds fight. It was a twelve ra ten rounds fight and uh, told me your time will come. Don't rush nothing. Box, box. Don't look for the knockout and the stoppage came. We've seen Chris make fast starts before. Were you expecting that? Did you prepare for that? Uh, I rate Chris as a boxer, you know. He has fought a lot of fighters, but people underestimate me. People think that I cannot box. I want to please the crowd. I want to fight, you know, and that's why. But I can box also. And I think I show also today with Chris, with a very good boxer, how good I can box when I want to. Another lesson, of course, dealing with a cut. When you realised you were cut, I think you thought it was a little bit worse than it was. Did it kind of jumpstart you a little bit? Yes, because when I get w when our head clashes, you know, I thought, whoa, how big is the cut? And I was afraid that maybe referee stops the fight, you know, and I was. And that's why I start pushing the pace uh, faster, higher. You've been clear to reiterate, you know, you're still fairly new to the boxing game. You've had other combat sports backgrounds, but first camp with Grant Smith, it must feel like every day is a school day right now. How much have you learned already? I have learned in three months with Grant what I haven't learned all my, all my four years in boxing game. You said you want Amir Khan in the ring next. Is that top, top priority? Does it have to be that kind of level of opponent now? Yes, I think uh, this kind of uh, opponents, and uh, if they are better than me, then... Let's uh, uh, let let them to beat me, you know, if I'm not in their level. I want this kind of fight. If Sky can deliver, Amir Khan for you next. How does that fight end? <laughs> I I hope for Amir Khan, for good of the Amir Khan, doesn't accept this fight because this fight will, will finish bad for him. Sky had Chris Congo ringside um, to assess your performance and to tout as a potential opponent. You didn't seem particularly interested. You were looking at perhaps bigger fights. Can you just explain why Chris Congo is not really on the radar? Yes, many people now on they will start mentioning my name and they have started mentioning but when I was mentioned names before two years nobody was caring, you know. The the, the name that you mentioned and other names when I was wanted to fight them, nobody wanted me then. Now that I'm start getting a little bit popular, everyone wants me, I want bigger fights. Final one, Florian. Uh, it, it's Newcastle, it sounded a lot more like Albania in there. Just a word on your fantastic travel and support. What what can I say? You know, they make me feel like I'm I, I am home, you know, I want to thank them from my heart for all their support. I'm really happy. Florian, congratulations thank and thank you. you. Thank you.